what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today what we're taking a look at is some customizations i did went ahead and did to the spin masters um batmobile here and as you can see i went ahead and added some flame effects and on top of that i went ahead and now i know these guns are not the ones from like similar to like the original 89 batmobile but this is what i found for a cheap price um at a you know for a bargain i guess you can say um and i did went ahead and did like these missile like this kit that i bought um also brought like this um missile shooter so i did went ahead and put it on and i did like it however it's really big and on top of that, I would need two kits. Um, and the kit, it's like a, a helicopter kit, which cost me 20 bucks. And it brought like a whole bunch of machine guns and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty cool kit in general. So I did went ahead and got these two out. And I did went ahead and painted them. Um, they're mounted on. Um, I seen a lot of people using magnets and I did went ahead and find the magnets at Walmart. So I went ahead and did it um, with some magnets as well. Um, but now it makes this much um, larger. As you can see, um, I took off the flame piece. Um, this came from a um, one of the X-Men Marvel Select figures with the... Um, they come with this background. I think it was Storm who came with this background and this fire effect that went on the background. So I did went ahead and did some customization to that piece itself. I had to cut it off and take the flame apart and I sticked it to the um, magnets. So I did went ahead and buy two different type of magnets because I didn't know which one I was gonna use. Um, there's these bigger ones that come with like some 3M, 3M adhesive tape and then there's these small ones that, you know, you kind of have to, don't come with the tape. You kind of have to um, glue it. Um, so I did went ahead and bought both kinds because I it's my first custom using magnets. So, um, but as you can see, there's the magnet. Um, to, to start off, I know it's on, like it's out on top. I did take the car apart underneath and unscrewed every part to see if I can stick the magnets behind the car so you won't see it and it'll look cleaner but it wasn't sticking so um I mean I really don't mind to be honest the pictures look awesome um but here it is when you stick it on it looks freaking good to me it looks really good especially when you do a side view um you don't really see the magnet I'm really proud of it and again um the turrets Again, I know it's not, but um, accurate to the screen movie, you know, to the movie. But at the end of the day, you know, it is a custom and it is with magnets. So I can always switch it out if I find something more accurate or if I get tired of it and whatnot. So that can always be something new. Um, but it is a, a custom. So you can really do your preference when you're doing customs. If you want to do it more to screen accurate, you can. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't know if I'm going to paint this in black. Um, and I don't know yet if I'm going to get some lights on it and paint this part up in black as well. The turbine. I'm not sure. Um, but <clears throat> this thing looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, shout outs to everybody out there who's done videos of customizing vehicles and you know came up with the magnets ideas because I had no idea about using magnets and so I started seeing a couple videos online of people using magnets with their customs so as you can see the flame this is kind of how you see it when you shouldn't sit it on this on your shelf this is kind of how you're gonna see the vehicle so you can't even see the magnets and from far away if you're taking pictures or just shots you don't really see it and it doesn't look tacky i don't think so i mean obviously could have been possibly a little bit better but again it looks really good 
um i went ahead and see uh the black on on this part right here this is painted i went ahead and painted it because it is a white 3m and it looked a little bit tacky um but yeah went ahead and painted it so it can blend pretty well and again guys um just some and look it clears really well as well if you can see it clears doesn't get in the way um i might put a steering wheel in there i'm not sure because i really don't care so much for the interior unless i put some lights on it um that's another thing i've been thinking about doing um giving it some lights you know making this light up on the front um i don't know yet guys but this is my custom spin masters 89 batmobile um i hope you guys enjoy it and give you guys some ideas what you can do um to make it look even cooler and at the same time this is just magnets so if you want you can always take all this magnet stuff off and you got your car again your basic um standard spin masters car you know and you didn't really mess up anything because i tell you what i have taken off this magnet right here a few times already and really doesn't mess up the paint or anything like that so you just got to be careful peeling it off nice and soft if you ever you know don't want to uh are not happy with the way it came out you can always just take it off and you still have the car looking awesome um just the way it comes so that's another plus about using magnets um and like i said it it looks really good guys i went ahead and posted some pictures up of how it looks on my um channel if you guys want to see the pictures but overall this whole kit i only bought this kit you can get cheaper stuff so honestly it just depends on what you gonna buy to use the guns if not if you don't have them laying around because um this flame effect i had laying around which saves me tons of money because it's a really good effect and looks really good it is from marvel select so and then this cheap terror guns you know you can find this on dollar store toys you know i went to walmart so i paid a little extra for like this kit but there were some cheap toys anyways um but yeah you can find good stuff you can do nice customs for cheap um and this is fun i'm just having fun with the spin master's vehicle after um playing with it a little bit today doing this customizing stuff honestly i do like this vehicle and i do recommend people to get it i think it's an awesome vehicle even if you're not going to customize it um it, it's just fun they're all fun um there's not like i said it depends on your preference when it comes to buying out of the toy biz or the spin masters or the mcfarland one i own all three and i think all three are great vehicles and i can't choose one or the other i i like them all for their own reasons and this one's just fun because it's easier to handle um it's small so it's lighter it's easier to handle it's easier to display on your shelf it doesn't take much space and it's more affordable so you can do some custom crazy work and if you messed it up you can go get a cheap um another cheap one you know another affordable one you know so it's not like the mcfarland one where it's more hard to find and resellers selling it for more money like this guy um i went into walmart and i saw a couple more of these on the shelves i was tempted to get another one but um honestly i don't need it um but yeah guys this is just a real quick custom look if i do the lights over here and i was also planning on doing like he drops his little, um, he drops something in the movie right here at one point and he has like, um, uh, what is it? What is it called, man? Uh, a grappler. He shoots out like some sort of grappler and stuff like that. Um, so if anything, I'll review the movie again. I'll watch it again and see what other stuff does the Batmobile does and try to incorporate those kind of features into this guy right here. That would be cool. Um, and again, some lights is something I'm thinking about doing and painting this turbine. So I'll keep you guys posted if I do um, end up doing any more custom work to this uh, Spin Masters Batmobile. 
But for right now, I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, if you have questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will answer them if I get to them enough in time. But I will try to answer all your questions. Um, and again, there's a lot of people customizing Batmobiles right now at this point. So by far, mine is not the best one. Go ahead and check out um, those customizations are nice as well. But this is just a quick, nice customization that I did. I'm not really somebody who customs a lot, but I wanted to have some fun with this Batmobile. So what the heck? Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the, um, the custom work on this car. I hope you think it's cool. I think it's cool. Let me know in the comments down below. And again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and leave your comments down below. Thank you guys. Catch you guys on my next video.